Now, silicon is so abundant on Earth that humans have been interacting with it for tens of thousands of years without realizing it. In fact, the Stone Age could just as easily be called the Silicon Age. Our prehistoric ancestors shaped flint and other silica-rich rocks into tools and weapons. Flint and quartz crystals are forms of silicon dioxide. When flint is struck against steel, it produces sparks. Early humans used this property to ignite fires. Little did they know those sparks were an early cameo of silicon's chemistry at work. The ancient Egyptians, pre-dynastic period, were familiar with shiny quartz crystals, essentially pure silica made of silicon and oxygen. They carved quartz into beads and small vases, treasures that have been found in ancient tombs. Now, the ancient Chinese also used forms of silicon-based materials like jade and pottery glazes in their artifacts. Moving forward to around 1500 BC, Egyptian and Phoenician artisans mastered the art of making glass. Now, their glass was made from sand rich in silica mixed with other ingredients and melted. Clear or colorful glass beads and vessels from ancient Egypt are basically silicon dioxide that has been melted and cooled. An application of silicon compounds long before anyone isolated the pure element. Early construction also relied on silicon based compounds. Ancient builders used mortar made from mixtures containing clay or lime and sand. Clay and sand are loaded with silicates, minerals containing silicon and oxygen. These mortars helped hold stone dwellings together. In short, silicon in the form of stone, sand and clay was literally the foundation of early human dwellings and tools. Our ancestors didn't know about silicon as an element, but they took full advantage of its compounds, from spearheads and spark-making flints to the first glass trinkets.